Hi, Justin here again from Habitech, and today I'm going to show you first time setup on the Cambium Next Generation Firewall, the NSE 3000. Okay, so the NSE is a cloud configured appliance, but before it can get any configuration, you need to connect it to the internet. So the first thing we're going to do is log into it. So let's log into the gateway on its address 192.168.200.1. And the first thing you'll see is a splash screen where you need to enter the username and password. The default is admin and admin. You might be wondering why we're even configuring the NSE considering it's a cloud-based device. Well, the reason is because it has to be able to connect to the cloud, the internet, before you can configure it. And that's why we're coming to this screen. So it's a very simple setup, really. The, uh, the screen is showing the dashboard, so it's giving me details that the device is currently offline because it doesn't have any configuration details. And on the left-hand side, in the configuration pane, we have a WAN tab. And if you click that, this is where you configure how the device is going to connect to the internet. Now, in our case, it's going to connect by DHCP because it's behind another router. But in most cases, you're probably going to be doing either a static or a PPPoE configuration. In our case, click Dynamic, click Save, and then when the device reboots, it will automatically connect to the internet and we can start to configure it. The next step is to connect the gateway to the internet. If you look at the back of the NSE, you'll see that there are SFP ports for WAN 1 and 2, and there are copper ports for WAN 1 and 2. So I'm going to connect it into the WAN 1 copper port because I've got a GPON connection, and you'll see the lights light up. Okay. Now your NSC is online and we need to configure it from the cloud. Very simple. First thing, go to cloud.cambiumnetworks.com and that's going to take you to the CN Maestro portal, which is where all your cloud devices live. So we've got a sign in or register button and at this stage I'm assuming that you've already registered. If you haven't, then just click the register button, type in your email address and then from there, you'll receive a link to be able to register for CN Maestro. It's completely free, and once you've registered, you can add all of your customers to that portal. So I'm gonna click sign in, and I'm gonna use the training account we use to train engineers here at Habitech. And that opens up the cloud management account. Now, it's a very important thing here because the NSC requires an extension of CN Maestro called CN Maestro X. And that's something that will have come automatically in your license with your kit. If you want to, you can try CN Maestro X by clicking start your free trial on the right hand side. You fill in some details and you get a free 90 day trial that you can mess about with. But actually you should already have a license key. And if you have that, you need to activate it on your account. So having set up your account, just open a new tab, click support or type support.cambiumnetworks.com and that will take you into the support part of your account. And from here, you can manage your licensing by clicking the licensing tab. And then you click activate entitlements, paste in your key, click check, and that will tell you that you have a valid activation key for your one year NFR license. And you simply click activate. Once you've entered the key, CN Maestro will just confirm that you want to use your CN Maestro account with the key itself. And you'll see it's listed my ProNet training account, and at the moment it's set to a CN Maestro Essentials account, which is the free one you get with CN Maestro. So we just click the next button, and that, and then we click activate, and that has now added the key to your account. Now we can go back to our CN Maestro account, and we can refresh the page, and it is now set up as a CN Maestro X account. So let's create a customer account. Each account holds all of their residences, which CN Maestro refers to as sites. Click the profile icon in the top right of the CN Maestro screen, and then click Create Account. The first thing you need to do is create a unique ID, which can't have spaces in, so I'm just gonna do my underscore customer. Then you can create a friendly name, the country of the customer, so in this case, United Kingdom, and the time zone that the customer is in. So in this case, GB UK. Then we have account type, leave that as NMS, and account view, switch this to enterprise because that's the easiest configuration for uh, NSEs and Wi-Fi products. Finally, click I agree to CN Maestro Terms of Service and click create account. 
In my case, I already have an account set up, so I'm just gonna click Pronet. The next step is to add the customer's home, and we do this from the Sites menu on the left-hand side of CN Maestro. So click Sites, up on the top right, click New Site, and then give the site a name, followed by a unique ID that cannot have spaces. And then to quickly enter it, you can go to the map, click search address, and start to type in the address or postal code. That will automatically set the latitude and longitude, so just click add. Now that we've created the site, we need to create an NSE group. This contains all the information the NSE needs to configure itself. So, on the left-hand side, click NSE Groups. On the top right, click Add. And the first thing we need to do is add a name. I usually use the name of the site followed by NSE. Next, under Management, we need to set a password. So, click the pencil next to Admin Password, and then choose a complex password over eight characters with capital letters, numbers, and special characters. Next step, we need to set up DNS. I usually use Cloudflare servers, you can use Google if you prefer, but Cloudflare's is 1.1.1.1 and the secondary is 1.0.0.1. Next, we need to set the time zone. So click the plus next to time settings, click the time zone box, click the search bar and then type in the region you're searching for, in my case, London. You will see the NTP server is automatically populated. That's everything we need to do in a tab. Next step is network. Now in the network section, we can create VLANs and we can assign them to ports, but that's something I'm gonna come on to in another video. Let me explain how the NSE is set by default. So by default, it has a VLAN 2000 with a static address of 192.168.201, where you went to earlier to set the NSE up in the first place and then an IP address pool of 192.168.250 to 192.168.200.150. Then in the WAN settings, you'll see that um, we have dynamic address assignment because that's what we configured before. Um, we have a monitor host. What that does is it checks whether the NSE is connected to the internet and that's polling uh, Google's DNS server by default. And you can adjust these settings if you want to. We also have settings for dynamic DNS, link capacity and traffic shaping. Again, this is something we'll cover later. Once you're happy with all of those settings, click save. And what we're gonna do is onboard a device. So click the onboard button. Now at this stage, one thing I want to recommend to you, if you're going to do a lot of Cambium products, is get yourself a barcode scanner. Because everything about Cambium runs about the serial number of the device. So if I want to add this NSE, I can type in the handy 25,000 digit code, or I can use this just to click and go. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So in the onboard menu, I click claim device. I put my cursor in the serial number box, and then I can take the outer cart of the device and simply scan it. Then I click Claim Devices and it says Success because it's found it in Cambio's registry and it's ready to go. Now I click Close and then I want to adjust the configuration so that it applies itself to the NSE group. So I do that by clicking the Edit button and then under the Configure tab, I choose the NSE group I created. And under the Location tab, I choose the site I created. And then I click Save. Finally, I click Approval. And then in a few minutes, when you see the status change to Online, the NSE is up and running. OK, so that was our basic configuration of the NSE. The next video is going to go into security and more advanced settings. Look forward to seeing you there.